Tune in to KGW anytime for the past three plus decades, and there's one voice you're almost guaranteed to hear. And sadly for us, today's the last day we'll be hearing that voice here on KGW. Our good friend Tracy Berry is saying goodbye to KGW after 33 years here on the anchor desk. Tracy, I can't believe this day has come. No. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to handle this too well. I'm Just sure so you know. You have for 33 up. years. <laughs> No, 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 you didn't want a big formal goodbye, no. so you walked across the street to the Leaky Roof Pub. Which we've done many times. <laughs> For 33 years, yeah. With Brenda Braxton yeah. to talk about what these 33 years have meant. You were telling me that you started in 1985. What do you remember about the first time that you stepped foot in that building? What I remember is I did a live shot in the gorge. What was the story in the gorge? I have no you idea. Remember? I just remember standing out in the gorge in October along the side of the freeway. I don't know, you've been just a fantastic professional role model for me. I think I've been super lucky to have women like you and others in my life. And I know that I stand on the shoulders of women who came before me. Think about, in 33 years when I came to KGW, I wasn't married. I didn't have my darling daughters who are now well on their way to being grown. Still had both my folks. Right? It's been a lifetime in that newsroom. When we brought our girls home from China, people were awesome. People sent me like Chinese plates that they'd had in their family. Said, I always wondered who to give this to. And now I know I wanted to go to your daughters. Before I even sit down to write a story, I always just send out this message to the universe that help me do these people justice. Charlie lights a candle, just like Louisa did. Well, I'm thinking about little Louisa, and I'll do the, my, my best to carry on her legacy. And once the socks started rolling in, the inspiration kept coming too. The Sock Mountain theme song was born. A nurse practitioner with little herself opening a clinic of last resort. In 1985, mm -hmm. Rajneesh Puram, the Bhagwan. I went only a couple of times. Newsrooms were pretty sexist back then, and mostly men got to cover the big stories. But I did get to go a couple of times, and um, I still can't believe it was real. I'm still fascinated by it. Have you seen the Netflix documentary? Yeah. Did you watch it all? Yeah, I, made I it didn't all the way recognize through. me. And then think of the floods of 96. Oh God, that was epic. Epic. I think that's the only time I've ever seen our waterfront stacked with uh, sandbags. They were going through Oregon City on boats. Um, I was covering President Clinton. And I remember thinking at the time that Secret Service must pull their hair out with that man because he would come down off the stage and walk through the crowd. So, Mr. President, you know, I had the chance to go to the White House. And while it was certainly an honor to interview President Obama, uh, the thrill for me was to meet the curator. He showed me exactly where Meriwether Lewis sat when he planned the expedition. And I had goosebumps. The other story that just rocked this area was Tanya Harding. I had met Tanya Harding before that. and. All I saw was a little girl. I just thought it was a, tra a tragedy. I'm so glad that she has a better life now. I went to Japan to cover the G8 summit, but what was so great about it is that people in Japan know Oregon. You feel like you know, if you go other countries, no one knows Oregon. Go to Japan and they're like, Oregon! Like, yeah. <laughs> what other travels stick out to you? Going with a group of Oregonians to New York when the 9-11 memorial opened. I had the opportunity to introduce uh, Portland's Gay Men's Chorus and I wept the whole time. The hardest ones for me were the school shootings. Always. Once you have children, you are ruined for television news because everybody's child is your child, right? Yes. And I think that's the hardest. The last shooting at Umqua, I honestly thought I would quit. I honestly did not think I could cover another school shooting. How did you come to terms with 
all of it and do it. Mr. Rogers always said, when things are bad, when bad things happen, you look for the helpers. There are always people that will go in and help somebody else and make a difference. That you have to believe that there are good people doing good things and all you have to do is look for them. And that's what we do in every one of these bad situations. I'm selling them and... Um, How much? You were always so engaged with those people who were doing something extraordinary in their ordinary lives. Well, telling their stories is what keeps you going through all the bad news. The man in North Portland who coached inner city kids and bike racing. He coached it from a wheelchair. He would drive along them, coaching them out the window. The older couple had apple trees on their property and they picked those apple trees and they made hundreds of apple pies every year for the homeless because he lived through the depression and remembered being so hungry and he didn't want somebody else to experience that. They're the helpers. And it was an honor to tell their stories, Brenda. It was a privilege to meet them. I've always wanted to help people. I can't stand it when they're without. And I will never forget them. But I owe my success in Portland and at KGW to the people of this city and this state and Southwest Washington. They have trusted me to tell their stories and to share their stories. I know I would have never made it this far without them. And I leave with a heart full of gratitude. I think we need two keys. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. You have had an amazing career, and we are so lucky to have had you here in this community, and for us to have sat next to you for 18 years for me, longer for Matt. You're going to remain incredibly important to us, and you know, a couple thoughts, three things that I need to say. First of all, um, you know, Joe Donlin left six months ago, our friend and our and our work, our coworker who we all love, and you're leaving now. And all I can think of is that ODOT must be breathing a total sigh of relief <laughs> that you're not going to be here. I mean, you two basically made them start using salt after that snowstorm <laughs> two it's years not ago. The legacy we're going for. <laughs> well, that's something that sticks. And then the other thing is just you have been a rudder in this newsroom um, through all of the changes, management, otherwise, whatever, and. And I'm happy that it wasn't always a silent rudder either. I mean, we need that. Any newsroom needs that. And your leadership and your editorial guidance and just your wisdom. Um, I've seen it in action in the newsroom. You guys at home don't get to see this, the work that happens behind the scenes. But you have guided this newsroom always in the right direction. And then my last thought is like, my um, irreverence and smart aleck comments are never going to feel as safe <laughs> and now that you're leaving. So I'm personal. It's selfish of me, I realize. What that's he can't believe I've lasted this long. <laughs> can't believe I've lasted this long. I think you've helped me do it. Well, I think so. one of the things people at home don't know is we all have mics with numbers. And Tracy's mic is mic number one. <laughs> it's true. And it's been for decades. And you will always be number one. Yeah. There will oh. never be another. <laughs> we have one more special thing to, to share with you. I don't think I could take it. <laughs> the mayor of Portland has declared today oh, no. Tracy Berry Day. Yay. Now just read. <laughs> I'll just read applause. part of the proclamation. <laughs> I'll just Tracy <laughs> That's okay. Tracy Berry has served the Portland community for more than three decades by telling our community stories with grace and compassion. And residents of Portland have invited Tracy into their home to bring them stories that made us laugh together, cry together, feel inspired together, and learn more about the community we call home. And whereas Tracy has been a caring coworker and mentor to countless KGW reporters, producers, photographers, and fellow journalists during her career, and whereas Tracy has tirelessly served her community through works of charity, and giving, and whereas Tracy has advanced the cause of journalism and storytelling, upholding the highest ethical standards and serving as an inspiration and role model. And now, therefore, I, Ted Wheeler, mayor of the city of Portland, Oregon, the city of Roses, 
do hereby proclaim October 12th, 2018 <laughs> to be Tracy Berry Day. Yay. And in Portland, I encourage everyone to observe this day. Yes, please observe this day. <laughs> and I think not just Tracy Berry Day, it should be Tracy Berry Month no. and Year. Laurel, oh, that's too so much. Miss. I know that's your doing. Yeah. I thank you for it. You guys, I love you. And I love you at home and I really do leave with a grateful heart. I do. You have um, deserve nothing but the best <laughs> and it's always been grace under pressure and long hours of except for now. Well, it's <laughs> even now and long hours of extended coverage, snowstorm, tsunamis, all of that. You were always a total pro and always Thanks. said the right thing and you're amazing. Thanks, Matt. Thank we you love guys. You. Thank Every, you. I know I, I will speak miss for... you so much, I... but I will text you and judge you from oh, home. Yes. <laughs> what are you do. doing? <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? I'm well, kidding. I know the community. I know everybody at home. They're crying too, and they say thank you. I well, know they're so great. Thank you, guys. I, you know, I love it here. That's why I never left. Well, we're glad you it. didn't. Well, before Tracy signs off, and before these false eyelashes <laughs> fall off, <laughs> because now I'm crying openly. Hey, the, the Tonight with Cassidy crew has a very fun send off to bring everything. All right. Up. Okay. Yes, we do. Yeah. Of course, it involves oh, glasses. Fantastic. Crazy Berry so Day. I know. I love right. Champagne. Bring it on. We in. have to Come celebrate at least for a couple minutes, but Look definitely until midnight. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, we brought a story. So this is Cheryl Walkerhauser from Pitch Patisserie. Thank you. And we figured the only way to to send you off was with a wonderful glass of champagne. That's lovely. But a whole bottle because we know you never shy away from doing something <laughs> daring and yeah. bold and powerful. We have to do something big because that yes. is Tracy Berry style. Tracy <laughs> and I sit next to each other and she's been a true mentor and just a true friend and I love you. I've been weeping since yesterday. But we have no shortage of fun in our newsroom. Absolutely. Room. Let's have one little moment okay. of fun. So you're going to let Tracy savor oh, this champagne nice. bottle? I don't think ah, you should put okay. a sword in. She'll show you the way. <laughs> we can do it. Should we you do it where there's a little room? Like, where should we do it? I would Come on over. And then if you okay, want Cheryl will do it. I have another bottle. Okay. All right. No, can you I'm see it over there? Should we like be over here? Yeah, do it. Okay, right here. We open a bottle of champagne with a knife. And uh, I'm gonna aim it. I at know. You. Where should we stand? <laughs> at the camera. Yes. We want Tracy to, to enjoy this and live through it. Don't All right, show sure, it. I think she will. Awesome. We don't want to right, draw guys. blood on okay. Tracy's last day. To Tracy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. Right. Tracy. Put a glass that under that. Nice oh yes. Yeah. Zafino, one for go. you. Yes. All oh right, here we, here we go. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, the finest of champagne for you, Tracy. Beautiful right. inside and out. Yes, thank you. Tracy so Berry that. Day. Yes, Tracy wow. Berry. Cheers. Tracy Berry Day. Thank you Cheers. for always Cheers. inspiring uh, and all of us. thank you to the mayor, too. This is yeah, too much. Yeah, great. <laughs> too much. All right, let's all, all toast right, and cheers. 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 Thank you, guys. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. And thank you. Tonight with Cassidy's back after this. Thank you.